In Tokyo, a software development company with a strong entrepreneurial spirit, Agile Tech, faced a bottleneck in product development. Their flagship project, an application named Project Phoenix, was progressing slowly and had missed several release deadlines. Team morale was low and customer dissatisfaction was on the rise. CEO Masako Tanaka decided to take action by introducing agile development methodologies. She brought in an agile coach, Kenta Yomimoto, a passionate expert, to lead this transformation. Yomimoto met with the Agile Tech team and introduced the core principles of the Agile Manifesto, individuals and interactions over processes and tools, working software over comprehensive documentation, customer collaboration over contract negotiation, and responding to change over following a plan. The team began the Agile transformation, working in short sprints and completing a feature module every two weeks. They started holding daily stand-up meetings, ensuring transparency of information and quick feedback. Tenaka noticed that as the team became more self-organized and self-driven, the progress of the product noticeably accelerated. After several months of agile practice, Project Phoenix made significant progress. The team was able to quickly adjust product features in response to market feedback. Customers began to participate in the development process and their feedback directly influenced product iterations. One day, at a product launch hosted by Agile Tech, the redesigned and feature-rich Project Phoenix was unveiled. Customers were surprised by a product that could quickly adapt to changes and meet their needs. Tenaka introduced the power of Agile development to everyone present and announced the company's future direction. Since then, Agile Tech became an example of Agile practice, and the stories of Tenaka and Yomomoto inspired many teams. They understood that agility is not just a method of development but a culture, a way to enable teams to adapt to rapid changes and continuously innovate.